Welcome to Small Lathe. This is another short video on screws. Basically the screws for the vise and another advice I should yeah, maybe share with you guys. I don't know if it's useful for you guys. Hope it will be. So it occurred to me I didn't talk about cutting the threads or cutting the screw to size. And if we're taking a screw like that, you'd want to do two things before you cut it. First of all, choose your smallest hacksaw. Ideally, you'd like the blade to run within the groove, if possible. If the grooves are not too small, or, or you have a small handheld hacksaw. Uh, this is my hacksaw. Small little thing. It does fit between the grooves. So that's one thing. Second thing, before you start cutting, put a nut on there. Just allow a nut, in this case the nut is already in the chuck. Put a nut over here, just where you want the material to be cut off in the inside part, not the outside part. This way, once you do cut it off and you file it off, you'll have a burr around the edge here. So what you want to do is Basically speaking, take a file and just run along twisting it. Now, your go-to, go-no-go measuring that you did it right and there are no burrs and you can actually thread it onto a nut will be actually the nut you have on it. Once you take it out, you can see if it's hard, if it's binding, if it's not correct, and you can fix it. If it comes out smoothly, well, you're good to go. In this case, I'm going to show the last part I'm doing here. Uh, basically, these screws, or the original screws, I have another chipped one over there. So I've got four of these, and they're just a little bit too big. This is the jaw, and they won't fit inside. I don't know if you can see that. They're 8.7 millimeters. This is an 8.5 millimeter diameter hardened steel. So I can't really cut through that without using some end mill or something like that. So I'm just turning the screws really easy. You could do that with a hand drill. You could do it with a drill press and just a, a file and just run these. I'm holding the screw and the chuck. I'm just starting it and I'll let the motor do the rest. And that's it. And actually, that, that's the wrong one. <laughs> so I already made four of these. Uh, cut to size, to length. And turned three. And I'm going to turn the last one with you guys. Let's do that. Come on out. I'm always starting the thread by hand once it runs smooth I'm just holding the tip and that's all there is to it and now it's starting to get loose there but once we start to cut it's gonna bind There we go, just clean the burrs. <laughs> and now it's binding. You can just take it off. In this case, we can take the entire setup off. But one more thing, if you're setting something like that in your chuck, screws are not, uh, not that perfect and nuts are definitely not that perfect they won't be concentric so you have to play with that i actually checked a few settings and one of them is dead on very very straight so these are basically done sitting nicely in the hole we got some play there which is really really good i turned it from 8.7 to 8.3 which gives us 0.01 millimeters of freedom here 
I can actually play with that. And that's all for today. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it's going to be useful for anybody of you. And uh, let me know if you think it's useful. Bye-bye.